Ah, hey there, fellas. Today's video is going to be really fun. All right, so we happen to know a few guys from Tomsk province who... They shoot balloons really high up into the air for the purpose of weather forecasting, determining wind direction, and so on and so forth. And they've made a scale model of our shorty build. They've invited us out here. They were like, hey guys, why don't we send that thing way up into the sky? Elon Musk has nothing on us. Right, so we're going to be sending a scale model of our shorty into near space. Straight into the stratosphere. We'll start by applying a few stickers. I mean, who knows, it might run into some little green people up there. Maybe they can hook us up with some sort of cool engine swab. Right, let's do this. Launching shorty into space. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Helium. Check out this high-tech contraption. So what are we looking at here? We've got a couple of cameras, which are shielded, as in protected from solar radiation. We've also got some sensors for humidity, pressure, stream velocity, gotcha. And two tracking devices. One of them is hooked up to a satellite, the other is a GSM tracker. So that we find it later on, correct? Anyway, fellas, take a look at this scale model. Who would have thought that we'd be sending Shorty into space? Even if it's just near space. Maybe I should tether myself to that balloon. Though chances are I wouldn't survive that, am I right? I'd probably just come tumbling down through the air. <laughs> Screw that, we've got videos to film. I reckon it's time we prepare for liftoff. Let's do this. Okay, everything's ready, and we're just about to do the launch. They've done a proper job here. You have to be careful and find a window in the airway in order to stay away from any airplanes. So the guys are about to make that all-important phone call. Okay, so you said you sent a request like when, three days ago? Yep. And they gave you permission, correct? You really have to get the timing right. The guys are about to call in and let them know that we're ready. And if they give us the green light, we'll immediately be... Commencing flight. Okay, then. It's about time we send the package. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look at that. What does that remind you of? A boat. Oh, totally. We good? See you later. And it's gone. Airborne at last. Our car is in the air. Okay, so here's what's up. Our stratospheric balloon is currently flying over the river Ob. They've roughly calculated its flight path, and it should land within approximately 100 miles from where we are. Anyway, I don't see the point in sitting here staring at a computer. I mean, we aren't going to wait until nightfall to go look for it. I see we pack all of our equipment, hop into a car, and head out right now to go track our balloon. I'd say we have about two hours left. Give or take 15 minutes. At that point, the balloon is going to start losing air. Due to the low atmospheric pressure, so the reason that they don't fill the balloon completely is that the gas starts to expand up there, at which point the balloon bursts and starts descending. It's anybody's guess where exactly it's going to wind up. 
The computer program did give us a sort of rough estimate, but we can already tell that this won't be a 15-minute drive. I mean, 150 kilometers over some pretty rough roads. The calculations, of course, were based off of wind direction, which varies from layer to layer. All right, time to hit the road. Now we get to the most interesting part. So check this out. We've got a location. That's where our shorty has landed, together with all of the cameras and everything else. Google Maps tell us that it's a bit over an hour to make the drive out there, but hopefully we make it there sooner. As for the landing spot, it is a bit... It actually found a good place to fall, right in the middle of a field. And about 800 meters away from the nearest highway, Here's hoping that it won't be too hard for us to find it, considering it has a huge sack attached to it, which I am pretty sure we'll be able to see from a distance. Fingers crossed that nobody else gets there before we do. We've got two cameras lying there after all. The car. Anyway, we're heading out there, and we're moving pretty fast. We'll definitely show you guys something as soon as we find everything, and I really want to take a look at what those two cameras have recorded. The ones that we tied to that balloon. Right, moving out. Okay, so we've left the pavement, and now we're driving over something a bit more interesting. Look at those tracks. Apparently someone has already been here. Anyway, we're running circles around this field. Everybody has devised a map in their own head, and now we're driving and looking around, trying to find where all of our stuff has landed. Hopefully we get somewhere with this. We found the package. It's all good. Just like I said, the balloon fell apart. The dome, or whatever you want to call it. Let's just call it a balloon. So it burst due to the gas expanding. It grew to the point where it popped. And over here we have... There it is. Nothing seems to be missing. Gather round. Let me show you what we've got here. It successfully made it back to Earth. Here we have some containers, with all of the sensors and cameras. Wow, it feels pretty cold. And there's the car. Check it out. Everything's intact. No damage to report whatsoever. Alright, fellas, let's do a quick recap. So check this out. Here's where our stratospheric balloon went up into the air. And it made it all the way over here. That's where we were driving around looking for it. And here's the scale model of our shorty build, which has just ascended to 25,000 meters above sea level. 25 kilometers is in fact considered near space. This is one legendary car. 
which has some serious flight experience under its belt. It's gotten higher than any one of us has ever been. And that's all we have for you fellas. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, send in a few comments and suggestions. Alright, catch you later.